Hey everybody, Cam here from the fish room, .co.nz, and today we're going to set up an immersed plant setup. Ooh, that's something a little bit different. The fish room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Alright, so what do we need for this project? Something to hold water. couple of pots with some soil and a couple of little stake marker things and a light and some water and some plants and that is essentially it nice and easy let's do this okay so next stage in this is obviously you've got your plastic pot or ceramic pot or whatever you want to use and you just fill up a little bit of soil or what have you this is a combination of um, Dalton's aquatic mix which is a basically a quarter mix here in New Zealand and a bit of topsoil I think I used last time that should give enough fertilization and nutrients to the plants that you put in so it's pretty simple just like you'd plant any other plant uh, today I'm going to be planting some crips this crips grow immersed Dig in the roots, and away you go. So if you don't know what immersed is, um, immersed is when the water is below your leaves, basically. So your roots are underwater, but your leaves are out of water. It's very, very common for most of the aquarium plants that we buy in the hobby to be grown immersed from the wholesaler's point of view, or from the wholesaler's point. Uh, the reason they do this is it grows a lot faster, which is obviously going to be a um, a win for them. So the faster they grow, the more they can move on. Uh, it also means there's no algae that comes with it, generally speaking, uh, and you get no pests like snails and what have you. Not all plants can be grown immersed. Some can, some can't. Crips definitely can. Um, I'm also going to try some dwarf Sagittaria here which can be grown immersed as well. So it's the same principle to, cut, uh, to plant this. Just gonna chuck it in, bury it a little bit. You see the difference between the, uh, the pot that I dug around a little bit and the one that I didn't. Just want your roots planted underneath. And away you go. Not gonna bury it too deep, but just deep enough for it to get stuck in. So I've got my crip and I've got some dwarf sedge. Crips are pretty cool, growing them immersed. Um, they can produce a little flower, which is quite fun. Uh, they don't seem to do that underwater. It's quite a natural thing for some plants to grow immersed. Often uh, in nature, they'll be growing submersed, the water level goes up, and then all of a sudden the dry season comes along and it dries back off. So it's their. Um, their protective way of doing it, they'll melt back in particular crypts, they melt back and then they grow back um, immersed as opposed to submersed, which is kind of cool. Echinodorus, crypts, uh, java ferns, java moss, dwarf sage, most stem plants, um, anubias and all that, they can all grow immersed. Uh, but today I'm just going to plant these ones out and later on in this series I will probably plant some more in through here. Uh, but for the time being we'll just leave it with this and we'll go to the next stage. All right, so the next step in this is to fill your little container up with some water. Okay, so we can see now that the water is just below the brim, and you see in here, the water is coming up through it, so it's saturating the roots, but it's keeping the leaves dry. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, some plants like a little bit more humidity, others don't. I've done this sort of thing with a piece of glass over top and I've done it without a piece of glass. So this time around, I'm gonna give it a go without a piece of glass. I know the crypts will go okay like that. I'm not sure at the dwarf stage, but we'll find out. So the next thing that needs to happen is I need to put a light above it. So this doesn't have to be an expensive light um, for this because I'm a cheap ass. I'm literally just using a desk lamp, lamp, and then we go. 
So when I come in in the morning, I will turn this light on as well. The other lights I have in here, I really should invest in a couple of light timers. And then when I turn off the lights, I'll be turning these ones off as well. So there you go guys, right there is the beginning of my immersed plant setup. If you've played with immersed plants before, uh, maybe give some, just some suggestions on what I could try in my setup. I'm um, swaying towards Crips, Dwarf Sage, uh, Echinodorus, maybe some Java Ferns, that kind of stuff, but you might have some intel that you could let me know. Please bang them down below, I'm more than happy to read it and I'm going to give it a go if I can get hold of it. If you've enjoyed what we're doing here, please feel free to subscribe and like the video, give it a share and that sort of stuff as well. It does really help. I would really appreciate it if you could do that. Other than that, have a good one guys. Have a good fish keeping and catch you later. Bang.